I decided to become a nurse because my parents, um, they aren't born in this country, right? So English wasn't their first language. And for the longest time, I was the translator of what was happening in school with me to them. And then what they wanted to express to my professors or administrators and whatever schooling I was in when I was younger. Um, and I found that their need or ability to express themselves was really important in how they um, received any types of services, whether they were at the bank or at the grocery store. And it's their native language is obviously the most comfortable um, in expressing themselves. And once I got um, older into high school, I really liked biology and the sciences. And then I saw nursing as an opportunity to be that translator, but in the medical field, right? It's translating what we learn in pathophys, farm, all of those different topics and translating that in a way for someone to understand to better their life once they leave our care. And I really felt that I was, I'm really good in school, right? So I studied, I, I just, it just all made sense to me. And I wanted to be able to just translate that in my mind in a way that someone understood, very similar to what I did for my parents in terms of English to Spanish. And so this, I, I saw nursing as that opportunity to translate medical terminology and health and wellness into someone's day-to-day -day life once they leave the hospital. I think the, the translation verbatim is information does get lost. So I always give the example to my friends that I'm not very good with the English sayings, right? Like I can't even give you an example because I don't know them, but I know them in Spanish, right? So if I were to say, um, I'm, I guess like caught with a tail between your legs, right? If you were to literally translate that either into Spanish or take a Spanish phrase and literally translate it into English, you lose kind of the meaning and, you know, um, the origin of where that came from. And I do think that when we translate in any language from one to another, there are some cultural considerations or what those words mean to the people that you're sharing them with and how they interpret it and whether they whether or not they understand it's very similar with um like um medications is one thing that was brought up is is the is the generic the same everywhere and i'm like i not that i've seen right and is the you know the brand name the same that obviously isn't because it's branded but even the um the generic might not be the same and so it's just interesting that verbatim isn't going to meet the needs of, you know, comprehension and understanding for those life child, lifestyle changes people need to make. Um, and sometimes you do need to express it in a different way, but that isn't what a certified translator is expected to do.